How's you all? Stay home, stay safe. And as I promised, I came back with the new video of Dhyan Lingam. And this video is very important video. If you like meditation, then stay tuned. Enjoy your meditation. Enjoy the Dhyan Lingam location and the purity of the location as well. And have a look to the way to Dhyan Lingam. is not enough we need to go forward to the inner part then we will do dhyan mudra okay and uh, this area is so big there is little bit uh, shop are there and uh, there is a place to take a bath in the pure chilled water a separate part for girls and separate part for males as well and the later on we'll reach out to the temple of makalika Parvati that is the wife of Shiva and we will see the huge huge Nandi that is the Savari of Mahadeva. for five minutes and we have to keep calm and we need to listen to our soul and after five minutes of breaks we will go to the core area of the temple and this area is so beautiful I can't show you you can find out the picture of main core area from the Google as well but uh, this area do have the huge Shivlinga and nearby the Shivlinga we can sit and we can do the Dhyan for five minutes and after then we can come out okay but this area is so amazing I just can't express in words if you love meditation you like your mental peace you like Shiva and you are the Bhakta of Shiva then this place will gear one place in your heart. After visiting all this place uh, at Dhyan Lingam every Saturday and Friday at Amavasya they do have laser light show on that huge Shiva statue that is in Dhyan Mudra and uh, if you are ready to see that I just experienced this very good mem of my life then just keep calm and enjoy my rest of video. <laughs>
15,000 years ago, a being appeared in the upper regions of Himalayas. No one knew who he was, where he came from. The origins of this spectacular being were unknown. When his ecstasy allowed him some movement, he danced wildly. When intensity peaked, he became utterly still. People saw that he was experiencing dimensions that no one had ever known or able to fathom. His ecstasy and intensity allowed him to transcend his physical form. Witnessing an individual human in union with the cosmos, they called him a yogi as he was the first one, the Adi Yogi. When his stillness lasted for years on end, curious onlookers melted away. Only seven seekers remained as they could not tear themselves away from him. He transmitted the profound signs of yoga in its full depth and dimension. He expounded 112 methods of attainment, offering his disciples access to the deepest in arts of creation.
In this magnificent state of yoga, many mysteries of the created and the uncreated cascaded upon his unbridled wild hair. cosmos in all its profundity and magnificence, a vision of the unfathomable mysteries of the universe, a most overwhelming vision the sages and Devi Parvati had ever witnessed. Devi Parvati, seeing Adiyogi, reveling in ecstatic states, said, I want to have what you have. Show me the way.
This spectacular being is not of the past, but the future of humanity. To move humanity from hallucinations of ups and downs to nameless ecstasies of one's interiority. this chance then you should go to the Dhyan Lingam. This is life changing place and the energy is there is so positive and before lockdown I went to so many places. So now uh, one by one I am just sharing my video to you so you can enjoy this place and you can be positive because after this corona we need to go out and we need to travel again. We need to see the world again. So many good things to see. So stay positive, stay home, stay at home. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and do share as much as you can. And thanks and hit like. Bye-bye.